Hello, it's Wes, Super Wes that is. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to apply a pulse oximeter probe. The pulse ox probe is most commonly placed on the finger, then on the toe, and sometimes on the earlobe. The only time it can be placed on the nose or the forehead or when used with a specialty probe specifically for that area. There are two main parts on each pulse oximeter probe, the light or the sender and the receiver. They must be facing each other from opposite sides of the finger. As you can see here, the receiver's on bottom and this will fold over so the light or the center will be on top. There are many different types of pulse ox probes. This one has a long adhesive band. When you wrap it around, don't wrap it too tight. As you can see here, it should be snug but not tight. The first wrap around the finger is right over the probe and the second one is a little bit further down to help secure it. As you also note, the wire for the pulse going to the pulse ox center is on the top of the finger on the back side of the finger so as not to interfere with use of the hand. This is an a different type of pulse oximeter for the finger and as you can see it can be placed right over the top of the finger although if the person does have a lot of fingernail polish or dark fingernail polish you can turn it sideways so it'll shine through the side of their finger although typically the light is placed on the fingernail it doesn't have to be it can be on the bottom or on the side as long as the receiver is on the opposite side of the finger to to catch the signal in home care settings you only get about four probes per month after a couple days, this tends to get sweaty, stinky, and gooey, so you can remove the adhesive, clean the probe with an alcohol swab, and use a different adhesive piece or use tape to secure it around the finger. If you remove the probe and see a bright red dot where the sender or the receiver is, that's the start of a pressure sore. Notify the doctor of the wound and change the location of the probe every four hours after that. Usually the, the location of the probe is changed every 12 hours. In another video, I'm going to talk specifically about troubleshooting the pulse ox and what to do with alarms. And as always, if you like what you see, if you enjoy watching these videos, please comment, click like, and subscribe. Okay, thank you so much for watching.